Hey guys, today we will see how to make this uh, cool cinematic shot in Unreal Engine Niagara. So I will put this character using sequencer, make some small uh, basic uh, smoke effect with embers and we will do some basic lighting. So this is the basic tutorial, just a quick how to set up your character with FX in Unreal Engine. So let's dive in. So let's start this. So I have this map which is I downloaded from Epic. It's free map. And then I have downloaded this character from Mixamo and I choose this pause. So this is static pause. Okay. And this is here. So if you have any static pause or animated whatever you have, you can use. So let's say I just create a sequencer here. Level sequencer, right click and take this. You can call it um, main. Enter. Double click to open this. Then I will drag my character. This one here. So I want to drag it here exact position. So you can drag it here. Then call it in the sequencer. Or you can just call it in the sequencer. Then you need position of this. So you can drag anything here. Then copy the location. And then delete this. And then select this one here and paste that location so it will come here and it's inside your sequencer okay so you have now this character here so first thing i will do is let me just set the angle and on the ground properly then i will set a camera so let me set a camera i think this character looks very small to me so i will just Maybe increase the size just like this and maybe 2 is too much 1.5 is enough I guess and then select the camera back and maybe Yeah, cool. So my camera is also selected now. I will do some Lighting here on this character looks very dark so from here you can just take lights. Uh, I will take directional light, this one. If I press G, you can see that light source. And I'll just make this lit from the front. Maybe this much. And density little down. Okay. Then you can just copy paste. So I will just hold and drag to copy paste this. And rotate it. Maybe in this one I'll increase the intensity. Then it should be behind the character. So you can also go like this and put it behind the character. And if I go to the camera angle like this, and you can make rim light. And it should not be on the ground. So I will rotate it this way. And then decrease the intensity. I increase it just it will be noticeable then again I'll duplicate this one more time and this time I will rotate this side and it will be here okay, this should be here on the head So it's up to you how you set up your lights. I will decrease a little bit. So now we have this. Okay, looks cool. What I'll do now, let's add some camera animation. So for that, what I want when I move my camera, the camera target should be locked to this character. So when I'm moving my camera here and there, so it should always look my character. So for that, you need to go here in the camera here plus and then look at tracking setting and you can actor to track and then here you can choose your character which is this female character and now if i select my character uh, camera Just delete this and I'll go here and 
enable look at tracking i will enable it and see now i cannot move my character but this is looking at the feet so i need to add some offsets i'll go again and relative offset and then i will offset on the z axis and i want my lock here so the benefit of this you can turn around the camera so if i just come out of the camera here and see we have this camera and if I select, you can see it's rotating and it's focusing on the character. So you can see it here. If I make some space here. If I'm moving this camera, it's always looking at my character. So you can make the turntable of your character. So let's say you want it from like this. From here, I'll just add key. So on the camera here on the transform i just put a key not here actually on the first frame then we have these frames i will increase it maybe 500 and then maybe around here i want my camera like this maybe and the auto key should be enabled from here otherwise it will not take key now again add key so we have now two keys two keys now this one this and this and if i now check this let me also increase the track so camera Second key is actually too far, so I will just make that again. Now you can see it's animated, and here you can move it back so it will make that arc like this. Okay, and if your character is cutting, you can just Change the focal length a little bit. Now you can see full character. Now I think after this, I will actually go up and then again next key. I will go up here. Yeah. I don't need to go behind the character because my lights are too many there and it's totally white. So through the camera, this is how it looks. It's now animated camera and it's always looking at the character. And these things I'm doing it very quickly. So you can take your time. You don't need to do the same what I'm doing. See. The, the the head is cutting lots of time here so you can just add this offset a little bit more so instead of feet it will focus on the character head like this the next thing is it should also uh, defocus the background so basically if you have this these tree and all the things should be blur so for that what you'll do select your camera component go here and make some space go here and there are two things in the focus if you go focal setting manually or tracking you can track the character if you want so in this case i turn this on and i choose this character it will focus this you can turn on this debug that color and you can set this so if i do that manually and turn this on you can see we have this so where this touches my focus will be there and now you can turn this off but background doesn't look very blur so for that you have to decrease the uh, your aperture values and also you have to change some settings here 
this one this minimum and maximum so you will decrease it Actually, this. See, now it's blurred my background. And see, the character is also blurring a little bit. You can increase this. Maybe this much. Now the background is mostly blur. And we can now focus on the character. Now we will add some effects here like if you want to like add some smoke or kind of thing. So how you do that and one more thing when I am coming very close like this my character is getting blurred. How to fix that? The focal distance is also here which I showed you here. So you can see now the purple color is too far. So you can animate it. So basically on the first frame. I will key on this and then I'll go back and see where I want like here I will adjust this maybe on the chest then here I want to adjust this on the chest then here we can adjust this and here you can see it's not there and here you can see so we need to adjust it like here or if you want like here focus you can add this here basically you can animate it if you don't want to animate it you can use this tracking but it will not work perfectly like the way you want so you can go manually it's not tough okay so now we have a perfect animation and the background is blur we just need to add some effects in this and that's depend on you how you want to add and you can also add come post position post process actually so i think it turns here little blur That's it. So I think that's it. Next, let's say you want to add some smoke. So if you don't have a smoke texture, you can just go to the content, start the content, particles. It has this smoke, but we want to add a uh, Niagara particle. So I will use the material from this, and that material is here inside the material. This is smoke. If I open this, it's 8 by 8 sub UV of smoke. So I will use it as it is so let me just make an fx on my sequencer location niagara i'll take fountain ns smoke and then i will use this material so browse this and then select this here in the sprite render this was 8 by 8 sub uv so i will turn this on 8 by 8 and then I'll take the animation and choose sprite render here and it will animate that I don't need con velocity so I will just make this linear maybe maybe that's 20 on one axis or maybe 20 here I don't need gravity and the location maybe I'll use planar so maybe just planar like this and it should fade in fade out so in the scale i will use this color curve alpha curve so it will fade then size maybe 150 i don't know we will see it in viewport then spawn rate maybe just 20. so we have this soft uh, smoke let me make this local and i will drag it here let me just come out of the camera maybe it's too small so in the shape location maybe 500 500 so it will take bigger area 
but we need more particles so maybe 60 like this if I see it through a camera this is how it looks but it's dying very quickly so what I'll do life maybe 5 and 4 and also velocity maybe I'll add random so I will just randomize this scale maybe 1 and 3 some will be little faster like this but now it's covering my character too much so in the initial we have this alpha so I'll just decrease this or maybe we can go random so 0.5 and 0.2 so alpha will be now random some are very soft I think it's become very soft now and it should not start every time I start so go to the property and turn on the warm up maybe 3 seconds so it, first frame will be 3 seconds like this looks cool then I think I need uh, I will go to velocity and up direction maybe just 5 so it will crawl like this and then I'll duplicate this in this one decrease the spawn rate maybe 20 and also size maybe 300 and 300 and in this one I'll make this 20 back so some particle will go up see these particles going up these are crawling so we have some particles going up here but mostly are crawling and you can also go here and visual effects then take the post process drag it and here go back down and turn on the this infinite extent then you have to turn on the image effect and actually I think it has already a post process yeah my scene already has multiple post process so we can disable these so now we can use this so you can see how it's working it's making edges faded like this you can also add like a sparks kind of thing so i will just duplicate this first time enter copy and paste ctrl c and v in this one i'll read sprite render and take it again so it will be this round and i don't need animation so it will be like that velocity maybe 30 it will go up then size would be like this and it should be velocity aligned here like spark and then I will make the spark color here see if I'll show you but it need more chaotic so I will add curl noise maybe 500 200 and I will animate this also life maybe 1 and 3 so we will have some sparks going on I think our noise setting will be like 30 and see it with the smoke I think these are too many maybe just 10 just to add a feel that there is something something else also 